Welcome to Kathy's Renewed You. Hi, I'm Kathy Stoddard Tory, and today I want to talk about two great life lessons. Two things that you can incorporate into your life that will create more happiness and more success. <laughs> Sounds pretty impressive, huh? And you're never going to guess where I learned this information or what really brought it together and for me and really brought it to my attention. And that is the movie Groundhog Day. It was actually Groundhog Day and I was watching Groundhog Day. It's the movie I think most people have seen it with Bill Murray is Phil and Andy McDowell is uh, Rita. So it's about Phil and Rita. It's mostly about Phil. And he's a weatherman, grumpy guy, not very nice. And they go to film the groundhog coming out. And so they're there together with their cameraman named Larry. Well, as it turns out, Phil wakes up every morning and it's still Groundhog Day. Uh, the clock flukes to six, Sonny and Cher start singing, and he's caught in the same day. Now, I read something online, you know, people that were analyzed it, I don't know how they did it, but they came up with the figure that he was stuck in this one day for about eight years. Can you imagine being stuck in the same day, waking up to the same song every single day for more than eight years? I mean, that, that to me is amazing. And he went through the stages that you would think a person would go through. First, he thinks he's going crazy. And then, because he's not a very nice guy, he starts figuring out what he can do. You know, how he can use this to his advantage. Like, he sees an armored truck and he steals money, you know, when they're all looking down, you know, at something else. He gets the name in high school and different things of a young woman in a diner so he can put the moves on her, you know, the next time the day comes around. So he does some pretty selfish things. And that kind of gets old after a while. He's still stuck on the same day. Those things don't really make him feel any better. So then he starts killing himself. And he kills himself in a variety of ways. And I guess the only benefit is that it shortens the day so he doesn't have to go through the whole thing. But he still wakes up the next morning at 6 o'clock in the morning. So he's gone through all these phases. And then what he decides is to become positive. He wakes up, he's kind to people, instead of being negative and snarky like he was, he builds them up and he's kind. He goes in and listens. He's like, well, you know, I think we could set up over here. What do you think? And he actually listens to them. So that's the first piece that he does is he decides, chooses, waves around the magic wand of destiny, intentionally choosing to be positive, right? That, that's so big. I know it sounds small, but the choice to be positive is life altering in, in real life as it was for Phil. So Phil then, I think he uh, comes across a homeless man and he takes him into the hospital and he dies. And so he kind of makes this, you know, nobody's going to die on my day kind of thing. And he runs around, you know, he's catching kids that are falling out of trees. He's doing the Heimlich on the mayor who's you know, caught some food. He even, like, three little old ladies get a flat tire, you know, and he's like, oh, well, I had the tire and jack anyway, and he does it. So, by doing all these good things around town, there's a party uh, that night, a Groundhog Day party, and at the end of it, of course, they all know Phil, and they're like, Phil, and they love him, you know, he's, because throughout this one day, just one day, he's touched that many different life, lives. Well, Rita the young woman that he was in love with in the beginning and still loves, sees this transformation. And in that one day, she is attracted to him. Uh, she actually, at the end, is pursuing him. He's like, I'm busy, you know, gotta go do stuff. And she's, she's going after him. He has made himself attractive to the woman who he loves by being positive and having a genuine desire to help other people. And that's a huge lesson. I mean, if all of us can just focus on those two things and create more success, more happiness, be more attractive to other people, um, create better relationships, I mean, that's really the key to happiness in life. So, two things from Groundhog's Day. And in reality, is one, be positive 
and two, create a genuine desire to help other people.